Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah. And for those of you who do, hi. <laughs> uh, so normally we do reselling videos about us listing and posting and packaging, uh, but it's too cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like minus something here. It is freezing. Uh, so today I decided, since we're not doing eBay, we may as well do something Christmassy. So I'm going to attempt some homemade soup, but I'm being lazy. So I'm going to use frozen pre-cut butternut squash because <laughs> my cooking skills <laughs> sometimes they work sometimes don't so I'm going to cheat I'm going to try and make some homemade soup using this lot um <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> <coughs> I'm still struggling with covid um I don't know what happened tell me about the ingredients sir oh my <laughs> <laughs> Behind me doing this, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, we're just using butternut squash, and that's yes. all we're using. <laughs> so, we are going to make um, we're going to use butternut squash, a lime, barley, <laughs> salt, pepper, milk, and some double cream. It's just an easy peasy. No, and milk, milk. Did I say milk? I said milk. I don't know. <laughs> He's fallen. He's <laughs> I did something wrong, and I don't know what. <laughs> Let me actually show them, let's go. Oh. Okay, we're using salt, because, yeah, they needed to see this. They need to use sea salt. Paper. Let's see pepper either. Limes? Yeah, we're going to okay, use the salt. zest of the lime and the juice of the lime. <laughs> we butter, which is extortionate, but I got this for a quid out of Yasna, so yay. <laughs> and some double cream. Um, and milk. we use this milk. I know people use, like, blue milk and green milk and stuff, but we can't stand it. So we just buy the One Life stuff that you can just keep in the cupboard and just enjoy open it, put it in the fridge. Because we like it and, <coughs> you know, cheap, cheerful, and I can buy milk. Right, there you go then. Start the Do you know how to make it? Uh, I just bung that in there and throw a load of milk in. Yeah, for ten minutes. <coughs> Yeah, you like my wee helper in the corner. My wee elf. <laughs> How cute is he? <laughs> is my elf beating me up? No. Was he doing something naughty? No. Because I'm pretty sure you told me I was like to I was to watch my dirty talk and then you got <coughs> an elf hump in my back. <laughs> Humping your back, it's hit you over the head with a spoon. <laughs> it felt like... <laughs> Go away. <laughs> um, oh, right. How much milk am I bunging in? Did I just cover them? Obviously, you know that. What? I swear you were born blonde. I was actually was born with jet black, then I went blonde. Yes, ma'am. Yep, plenty. Good. Ignore the cooker; it needs a bit of a wipe. <laughs> right. No, but you're going to set up the food processor. Yes, now I'm going to. You speak to the oil. Yes, I will set up the food processor, and I will talk to you in a little while. Okay, so I have set up the food processor. Um, we we'll let this boil, and when it's brought, done that, uh, when it's all soft and squishy, I'll bung it in there, blend it up, thumb it back and forth, let it heat up, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with the lime and the double cream. Well, I'm waiting for the soup to get ready. You can make me a hot chocolate. Yeah. Is it looking for something to do? Yeah, but I'm missing half my ingredients. No, you're not. Do I have my Charlie Stroy biscuit things? I don't need to. That's too much. So I bought these Did for £2 for four recently at Cabot Sale. With the sand? No, I do not. I don't even have any matchsticks left. And yes, I've had pinched some of this today to try it out for the first time. Quite nice. So are you making um, one hot chocolate? You're not making all the, the YouTube viewers hot chocolates? How much water are you putting in the kettle? Shut it up, 
Not as fancy as Amanda's truck hot chocolate station, but we just use the window ledge. You just facing your back of us here. Sorry, what? Yeah, hi. Singing away. <laughs> Coffee you bought, you're going to come back to the shop that we forgot to do today. Oh, yeah. You look! Some you love hot Christmas chocolate. Eve. We bought it and it was open to when we got home. So yeah. we'll take it back to the shop. Yeah, but look. Some idiots poked their finger on it. Like, I'm going to drink that stuff now. <sighs> so disappointed. I really want to know what it tastes like to drink Christmas. I like to bung some cheap chocolate in it as well. Makes it nice. Chocolate! <laughs> <coughs> Don't give me a hundred biscuits, it just sinks the hot chocolate and makes it a mess. But they're so yummy! She puts a few biscuits in the hot chocolate, it just... It's a, and I got cookies for it, not just ginger nuts. It's supposed to be gingerbread main, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Which is just weird considering it's Christmas. We get marshmallows there as well. Yeah! I had marshmallows that seemed to just disappear, but apparently he doesn't know how that keeps happening. It's not me. It's a son. It's not. It's, it's like father like son. Same with my candy canes. How many times I have to replace them? Yeah, the candy canes and me with little marshmallows. They're totally good. <coughs> Do you want some cookies? In your hot chucky? You want to Surprise me. Singing again. Sorry. At least I'm not singing it loud. You're, you're, you're singing it loud, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our first day, so I swear. Can you need a milk? Can you need a milk? Can you need a milk? You're going to cut it down a bit for me. Yeah, because you're a big baby. I'm trying not to get it all over this dress. You never stir it enough, it's always lumpy at the bottom. The best just leaving the spoon in for me. I leave the spoon in anyway so that you can get the marshmallows out because oh, I Oh yeah, I thought it was for the get lumps out. It is Christmas, don't make me swear. I can see you smiling. I can feel the cheek in you. It's gonna go everywhere but the How much chocolate are you putting in that? Looks like they fall over the fucking edge. Yeah. What's that? You want a cookie? Or a ginger nut? Yeah. See, it needs more than one cookie. Just looks naked. There's no candy canes in this one. There can be. I no. just don't take it. See, I mean, it's fucking hell. It's like that TV show Love Actually when the person's ordered a bit of jewellery and they keep giving you more and more and more. Hello, When's it going to stop? Well I would have my twisty things in the matchsticks but they're all gone. Oh yeah, okay so it's all smishy so I'm just going to scoop it and dump it. <laughs> Which is not something people need to touch to see. Unless they just want a lot. Well, you're going to make a mess aren't you? Yeah, oh, come on, faster than that. What is messy? You just worried about getting a bit of milk in your dress. <laughs> it's a very pretty dress. You need it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, you just get it. <clears throat> See, you're just as messy. Actually, you're messy on the Yeah, I'm just showing it. I just make a mess, you can clean it up at the end. Yeah, I get to clean it up. 
Oops. <laughs> I am getting a lot more messy than you. I better keep out for that. I won't drop it in the pot. Mm -hmm. Right, I think we might have to get the other pot down. I'll pick one up there. Because <laughs> we can't. Oh, once this is done, we can't put it back in. Do you want me to do it? Why don't you put it in the new, the new pot? Give it in the new pot. Tough. You obviously take the lid off first. You do that thing like a military operation, you just love that. <laughs> Don't be scared of burning your hand. But why? It's me. But you're not holding it properly. Oh my god. There you go. You're not going to get it on your dress. It's me. I'm going to get it everywhere. I've actually got an apron there. I don't know why I'm not using it. Ugh, sticky. What? Oh. And then, do the same with this batch. So she's the way to put slippers on and left me to blitz this. You've now got slippers on, you're making a racket with them. Yeah, my feet hurt. <laughs> so, uh, the soup, a little bit plain, kind of boring. So we are just going to bung the rest of the bag of butternut squash in and when it's cooked through we'll just smush it with the mashed potato thingy so that way it's got a bit of a different texture and it's not just smooth. Have you got any more of your bags in there? Freezer. I've got another bag of these. Yeah, put some more in. We, we got this, this recipe off this morning, and when you've seen his soup, his is really dark orange. But mm -hmm. we've used the exact same ingredients a kilogram of butternut squash and a litre of milk, and it just looks really, very pale. Yeah. So we're just going to jazz it up a bit and add a bit more butternut squash in. Mm -hmm. So shove it in. Oh, okay. Yeah, get the other bag out of the freezer as well. Yeah. Yeah, we should just stick to making our own homemade soup because we always come out lovely. When we cook our pickles, like that, silly. Uh, okay. Don't fall on you. Don't fall on you. So that's a little bit. Two bags are put in that now. Oh, sure. Is it? Pizza falling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just for the minutes, yeah. See and these? These are really nice. If you put them in the oven with some oil and some salt and pepper, turn out awesome. Just nice. Get me nasty. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you grate? You want me to grate it? Um, a lime, lime, a lime zest into that, that and lime juice. Oh, look at the seed on it. That's right. Here you go. You want me to what it? Grate a lime into it. Into it? Yeah. I thought that was supposed to be like on top. I don't know. Okay. And lime juice. Is that Bring that wee, yeah. Obviously. Where is it going to go? We're making soup. Is it going to sit on top of it? We got this free wear Bacardi bottle. Actually, my mum got free wear Bacardi bottle. Awesome. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Don't grate the white bit in because that's better. <laughs> you sure you trust me? It cooking? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're a good working. cook, sir. I'm a good cook. I can cook. You can heat up hell? fish and heat up fish fingers and stuff like that. Hey, my red wine beef casserole is awesome. Everybody likes it. Get yeah, drunk off it, but yeah. yeah. You can see that again. <laughs> too much alcohol in it. Yeah, I didn't know that you're supposed to use like this of a red bo bottle of red wine, and I use like the entire bottle of red wine. Got your honest, It's still an awesome casserole. Everybody likes the casserole. Oh, in my tikka. Hey, hurry up, come on. Spaghetti thingy, Bob, that I don't know what you call it. That's awesome, too. Mm. Don't you? Mm, it. That is awesome. That makes nice. Oh, my apple crumble. Are you grating this slime or are you just talking to it? Yeah, it's not grating. And you told me not to grate yeah, the white, that. so I'm worried you about grating the white. Don't drop it in the soup. Mm. But it forced time. Put it on straight away. What? You said not to get any white in it, so I was worried. I would get white in it. I think to work it. Isn't that what you want? No. Be you hurry up. You can do these, but you like doing this just some bit anyway. 
Ja. Timber. A rolling? Yeah. Second again, Sarah. Sorry. Like using all your strength just to squeeze that a little bit. Pepper on it. Uh oh. What did I do? Nothing, just me making a mess. Of course. So now that the soup is cooked through, we have decided that we are just going to blend it so it's all smooth because we tried the mashed potato masher and we're not keen on the texture. So, in the blender it goes. <laughs> Uh, and you've got to season this soup a lot oh, of yes, salt. Oh yes, yes. When this soup is done, you need a buttload of salt. Who needs it? And Santa, if you're watching, please buy her a memory brain or something. <laughs> you got a memory like a sieve. I do. <laughs> hey, if I don't have a memory <clears throat> like a sieve, Ginny wouldn't have a video. <laughs> hey, let's go goldfish. <laughs> Just a shout out to Ginny. I watched the video. It was very funny. I'm very flattered. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jenny, she won't remember it tomorrow. Right, we're going to put this soup in the blender. You're going to sound very squeaky in a minute because I'm about to kick you something. Right, you finally forgot. Cheeky bugger. Yeah, it's a little. Okay. And we'll turn it off because it's quite noisy. Okay, so it is all blended, it is all back in the pot, and it is all lovely and cooked. So let's have some now. Ooh. And we put a lot of salt in it. Yes, lots nice of salt. Nice consistency thing with the soup. Mm -hmm. So we used extra, didn't we? Yeah, we ended up shooting. Extra butternut squash. Three bags. bags. <laughs> I'm being greedy, it's Christmas. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's make it pretty. Shall we? <laughs> let's see if I can make it pretty. Uh, okay, let's just... Like a, was it Jackson Pollock painting? <laughs> That's oh, pretty! Bad. That's pretty! <laughs> and, um, four sprinkles! That's not ah. bad looking, Sia. Look at me. Nice. Look at me making pretty soup. <laughs> look, I have to show how to do it, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really just copying. No, we are. Nice. We're totally copying him. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> that is our version of James Martin's Easy Peasy Butternut Squash Soup. Yeah, but his ingredients are rubbish. He tells you only put one kilogram of pumpkin in it and one litre of milk and it tastes a little bit watery. So we added three bags of butternut squash. Yeah, except he did add some like green saucy thing on top and then some fried leaves that kind of made it look like slug trails. And I'm like, that, that just looked weird. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, there's enough slugs in the garden. So, Don't need them in the suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently we're done. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if you liked the video, <laughs> think about giving us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, think about hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell so you get more of our videos. And yeah, jingle. Is that your slippers? Yeah, they're elves. <laughs>